Yo, what's going on everyone? It is your boy Xbit Chris X, and today I have some close quarters domination gameplay for you on Zebra Tower. Uh, in this gameplay, I'm using the LSAT, I believe. Um, it's nothing super special gameplay wise. I think I go like 7 and 1. Uh, it was a pretty quick game actually. Um, I think, I believe, no, it's actually the full game, but we actually uh, dominated pretty well, so yeah. <laughs> um,. Anyway, so what I do want to say real quick about the gameplay before I talk about what I want to talk about is um, the L set. I want to—it's kind of—it's uh, one of the new close quarters weapons. Um, it's not a bad weapon. Um, like once you throw your foregrip on it, or whatever, it's really really nice. Um, but it's, it's a little weird. I don't know. I think it needs a little a little. Uh, Oomph, kind of, you know what I mean? Like uh, I said with the JNG, it needs a little buff because it's not, it's not a, it, you know, every other um, LMG is pretty much better than it, for the most part. Um, PKP, namely, my favorite one, um, super accurate and super deadly. This one, you know, slower fire rate, stuff like that, but I like it overall. It's it's not a bad weapon at all. Um, once you throw extended bags on it, you know, it's uh, not too bad, not too shabby. But yeah, anyway, so what I want to talk about today is Xbox Banhammer Part 2. Uh, I did cover this before, um, earlier on. Uh, I believe it was like a month or two ago. Might have been longer, but you know, whatever. Um, I'll actually, right now, put up a uh, link to my first video that I talked about it. Um, but for the most part... What basically happened is Mo Xbox has some components in it that, um, some component, it has some, like, components in it and some code that, uh, Motorola has within it, uh, that they have patented. So, basically, you know, Motorola was like, look, you, you gotta change this or you gotta pay us. And the way that it works is for every Xbox sold, they wanted a dollar and 26 cents, I believe. Because, you know, Microsoft, they're selling a shitload of Xboxes right now. Um, and it's, you know, for the Xbox 360 being out for so long, it's quite un... I mean, uh, it's not uncommon, it's just a lot for something that's been out already for... What is it? Four or five years? Maybe, if not longer? Um, but, yeah, so now, uh, Xbox, or Microsoft, in other words... They denied the uh, settlement. They do not want to do that. They don't want to pay Motorola. So now what's going to happen is they're going to go to a court. A judge believes that um, Motorola was right, but um, they're going to go to court for it. Um, but inevitably, what's going to happen is if nobody can reach a decision, it's actually going to go to President Obama. So Obama could be picking whether or not you can buy Xbox 360s in the U.S. anymore. Now... What what do I think about this? I don't know. Maybe a dollar twenty six per Xbox isn't that bad. You know, that's just me. I mean, you know, they do sell a lot of Xboxes, so maybe it would be cutting into their budget a bit. You know what I mean? But I mean, overall, I don't. I didn't think it was a big deal. It wasn't like a a huge, you know, deduction. It's not like they wanted like you know. Thirty dollars or whatever, but you know that's that's just their choice, or whatever. Um, now, do I think this is going to be escalated? Um, probably. Uh, do I see Microsoft winning the argument? I don't know. I think if it goes to the president, we could possibly. I don't know. See, I, I <laughs> you know, it's it's such a two-way thing. Cause yes, the Xbox is a great selling console, whatever. Um, but if 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 worse comes to shove, if push comes to shove, I think Microsoft will work even harder to get their Xbox 720 out, their new or whatever their next gen console will be called. Um, if it's not, because if they ban the selling of Xbox 360s in the U.S., you know Microsoft's not going to have any other type of system being sold, and it could, you know, they can't release any future Xboxes, not even limited edition ones. Um, you know, stuff like that. So if, like, Black Ops 2 or, 
Gears of War releases with a new console, you know, like how Gears of War um, released before with its custom console. They can't do that anymore. That's going to boom right there. So, no. Um, now, Microsoft got money, gets money for them making special edition consoles of their of their game. You know, making special edition consoles based on the game. So, you know, I don't know. It's, it's, it's not, you know, super huge, but it's still like, you know, whoa, this... <laughs> This could really be happening. They could not sell Xboxes anymore. So, I, you know, I mean, I have one. I thought everyone who's going to buy one is, you know, has one from Christmas or whatever. But I guess they're selling enough to where they predict they could sell even more. So, um, yeah. But, um, yeah, the video's coming to a close, guys. So let me know what you guys think about Xbox getting the ban hammer again. Um, you know, what do you guys think is going to happen if... Uh, they're not allowed to sell Xboxes anymore. Well, Xbox 360s. Let me know in the comment section. Uh, comment, like, rate, and subscribe, guys. And I'll talk to you guys later.